Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. This is episode 9, and when we left off, I was building this mini roller coaster on this mountain. Now, someone asked why did I choose rocket cars for this? Well, that's because they give you plus 5% to the excitement rating, and I was also planning on making this a space themed ride so rockets would fit that the best out of all the options available as you know building coasters takes a while so bear with me as I try to think of interesting stuff to talk about while I build this coaster I've uh, sped up the footage up to four times normal so it's a little faster than the first coaster. I've got some tracks set up already and approaching the second block break right there. And then I'm building back to the station for a test run. I think uh, the train is going too slow right about there so I'm not happy with the design. Gonna change it a little, or actually a lot. So there I've stopped the test and I'm going to delete some of the track. I've changed the upward helix into a downward one. Then going back up above ground. After some changes there and then it's time for some curved hills couple of them and then we are approaching the second block break as you probably guessed this episode is mostly going to be about building this coaster and then I'm also gonna add some scenery to it as well and then in the next episode, for some reason, I didn't record for two months. I guess I just forgot or something. So in the next episode, I'm going to explain what happened in those two months. And after that, you're going to see another coaster again. The third coaster of this park, which, as I mentioned, is a pirate-themed wooden coaster with um, articulated trains but let's get back to this coaster I've made some helixes and crossed paths with that lift hill area there and soon I'm gonna build back to the station for another test run gotta get under this helix first and also add some curves and hills that hill is going to be too high, so that's the reason why I'm gonna build back to the station to see if the trains can make it or not. There, and then it's time to do the test run. Train car number 4 is going through those helixes and didn't make it up the hill, so gotta change the plan for that part going this way instead for another block break and then back towards the station gotta raise the land a bit to make it just right for the tunnel entrance or exit actually then some large helixes no that didn't work go for one final drop before some twists and turns back to the station but that final drop is gonna be problematic trains aren't gonna make it I mean cars actually now another test run to see what happens currently behind the coaster window a car has already gotten stuck there so we gotta change that drop into something else going to forget about it altogether and just build another 
station there for the exit. And they also added an exit to the first station because that way the mechanic can use it to go repair that station. Otherwise he would have to go through the entire queue line which takes time. Now as you can see I've changed the speed back to normal so you can see how the trains behave on this coaster. We approaching the second lift hill, the huge one. Very close goes up. Clack 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 clack. You're gonna have to simulate the sounds. Click clack 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 clack. <laughs> Adding some pads to the exit while the train goes through the track and the queue line as well, of course. Going with the red one because it looks the most space like or futuristic or whatever you want to call it. The train has gotten to the second block breaker. Actually, that's the fourth already because also the lift hills count as block breaks. You know, earlier when I said I didn't record for two months, well, of course I meant in-game months, not real-time months, just to make that clear. So two in-game months didn't get recorded after this coaster is done, but you'll see what I made in those two months in the next episode. Now back to this episode, the queue line is going under the track and the test car is at the second to last rock break, yeah. There it goes into the last large helix and onto the final block break. The queue line's done, so I'm setting up the price for this coaster and waiting for the test results. Taking the time to check on some of the other rides. Enjoy this relaxing music while we wait for the results. And there we have it. Looking pretty good. Let's see what we get for the ratings. 7.26 excitement and point. 36 intensity and I named the coaster Space Mountain was planning to put some space themed stuff there but then later on I realized there's no space theming in this park so I went with Wild West and those things instead and as I mentioned earlier I should rename it to Back to the Future I'll do that as soon as the live recording begins. Later on the station area will have some abstract theming, so won't be all Wild West. As I mentioned, the theme is kind of time travel, so it's gotta have some futuristic stuff as well. But now on to adding benches to these new pads here. Blup, blup, blup. Blup, blup. Mustn't forget trash bins, of course, and lamps as well. Boop, 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 boop. Psh, psh. I'm getting really desperate for things to fill this time with. <laughs> Next, I'm gonna do something which I should have done a while ago, which is to open Space Mountain. Then there's people lining up, so. Q-Line TVs need to be added and mustn't forget the staff who take care of the ride and the pads as well. But don't you worry, I'm gonna start making some scenery pretty soon. Just gotta make sure all the staff things are covered. Got nice profit going on with locust swarm and the water rides as well because they got large capacity. Now it's time for the scenery building. I'm going to add some 
Um, Roman things here, building a temple sort of thing. Got those column walls set up. But the coaster is in the way, so I'm changing the size a bit first before I build the roof. Using the planets there. In hindsight, I should have figured out some kind of Arabic theming here, because after all, Aladdin is a Middle Eastern folk tale or whatever, before it became a Disney movie. There we've got some statues on the roof and walls as well. Then I decided to ditch the statues and change them into columns. Then some canvas roofs for the end here. Going with the same colors as the bride itself. And some walls around the whole thing. More statues. More walls. More everything. The temple's done, so we're on to the next project. Covering up this huge queue line here. Going with the brick walls and roofs and some columns to make it look more classical. And then a little pond here with some fountains. Going with the diagonal ones and making four of them in the center there. There's some fences and lily pads. Frogs and whatnot's gotta have a place to rest, of course. <laughs> then a tower in the corner right here, some windows on top, and a roof as well. Then I'm thinking what more can I add? I'm gonna cover up this whole straight section here with some bricks and uh, maybe some fence type things now going with columns instead and also changing some of the roofs to the classical ones at this point I cut out about three minutes of me trying to decide a color for the damn coaster went with the pink or magenta whatever mixture eventually and that even won't even be the final color I'm gonna change it once more later very indecisive as usual then it's time for some abstract theming gonna build a building around this queue line here mixing it up with those fence things that have crossed lines on them going around the whole queue area and then I'm very indecisive what to put in that one space right there next to the exit ended up putting nothing <laughs> then I'm changing the color once again but this time it's going to be final the rails are still magenta but I Ended up choosing blue for the things in between the rails. Then continue on with the scenery construction. Now time for the roofs. And I changed the entrances and exits to be abstract as well. Put some angled roofs on the stations and then some flat rooms on the other parts. There's gonna be a tower in the middle of the building here. Gotta make a flat roof for it first. A box in the middle and then cover up the whole thing with those roofs. Finish off that station and then it's on to the tower. Gonna make it tall enough for signs to fit. It's not tall enough yet, so one more. And then a pagoda on top of it. And then the signs, of course, which I managed to put at separate heights. So I'm gonna have to repair those later. But now, 
this episode is done, so I'll see you in the next one where I build yet another coaster.